Two children are the latest victims of gun violence in Chicago. Thursday night, a one month old and nine year old were shot in the head. Police say they were caught in the crossfire, blaming gangs. And just earlier, a University of Chicago student shot while on the train. He is in critical condition. Another tragedy playing out in Texas, where a child and her parents were shot and killed in their home. Police believe the motive was money. This week has been especially heartbreaking uh, because some of the violence harm has, has harmed and taken the lives of innocent children. While it's not unusual to see crime rise during the summer months, police are confronting the violence head on from mid sized cities like Indianapolis to major metros like Chicago. <laughs> Police are beefing up patrols to prepare for the holiday weekend. So I don't have a crystal ball, and I've learned not to predict what might happen in the future. What I can say will happen is that the Chicago Police Department will give its all, that they will be dedicated, and they will take undue risk to protect you and your family. In testimony to the U.S. Senate just last week, the U.S. Attorney General admitted the uptick in violence started last year. The increase in violent crime in 2020 and early 2021 is deeply troubling. As federal leaders debate why it's happening in so many U.S. cities, advocates on the ground in Chicago, like T.O. Hardiman, hope for more funding. In order to really reduce gun violence in Chicago, everybody has to get out of response mode. We have to be more proactive and preventive. To stop the conflict on the front end. And speaking of Chicago, police here will be working 12-hour shifts this weekend, even canceling days off. Rob.